Chapter 18. Amanda tried to reason with him. You can't listen to that old coot. He's goofy. He's always saying stuff like that. You can't go because of something one nutty old coot says. Maniac pointed out that it wasn't the nutty old coot who chalked up the front of the house. Amanda laughed. That? That's no big deal. That wasn't even paint. If they really meant it, they would have done it in paint. And anyway, don't you know they did what they did my mother a favor? It gave her a chance to get out the old bucket and do some serious scrubbing. Ever since the kids stopped crayoning the house, she hasn't known what to do with herself. Now she's happy again. Maniac didn't answer. Amanda didn't understand that most of the hurt he felt was not for himself, but for her and for the rest of the family. She stomped her foot. You gotta stay. I don't gotta do anything. If you go, you'll starve. Was I starving before I came here? You'll freeze to death in the winter. Your fingers will get so stiff, they'll break off like icicles. I'll go somewhere. Somewhere, like the deer pen? I'll be okay. Or maybe Prairie Dog Town, huh? How about that? She jabbed him. You could live in a gopher hole. You'd be starving, so that'd be perfect, because then you'd be so skinny, you'd fit right down there, all snugly with those little tunnels. He shrugged. Sounds cozy. This was driving Amanda bonkers. He was acting so different, all glum and wise answer if he didn't care as if he didn't care not about anything yeah she sniffed well what are you gonna do for a pillow huh i know you put my pillow on the floor i'll use a hibernating gopher funny and bathroom huh where will you go to the bathroom the bushes mcdonald's lots of places she hated it an answer for everything and the scariest part was he was probably right if anyone could slot survive on the loose, it would be this kid who showed up from Holidaysburg, who slept on floors, who outran dogs. He was making her so mad. She pointed at him. She sneered. Well, I'll tell you one thing, buddy boy. You better shut the door on your way out and lock it, because if I ever get my room back, I'm not giving it up again. So don't ever come crawling back around here. She kicked him the sneaker. You hear? Don't worry, he said flatly. And don't think you'll be taking any of my books with you this time either. And you can forget about ever getting a chance to open my Encyclopedia A, which I was almost ready to let you do before you went and started acting all poopy. He said, I'll join the library. She jumped up. Ha, you can't. No, no, you'll need a library card. I'll get one. Ha ha, you can't get a library card without an address. She regretted it as soon as she said it. His head swung, his eyes met hers. His eyes said, why did you say that? Her eyes couldn't answer. He got up and went out and trotted up the street. Amanda cried, she tore a magazine in half. She punched the sofa, she kicked the easy chair, she kicked Bow Wow. Bow Wow went yelping into the kitchen. See, she yelled at the front door. See what you made me do, Jeffrey McGee, Jeffrey maniac, crazy man, Bobo, Bozo McGee. He wasn't back by lunch. He wasn't back by dinner. I'm going looking, Amanda told her worried parents. No one tried to stop her. She rode her bike all over, East End, West End. She even went over to Bridgeport, practically got herself killed on the bridge. She never pedaled so much in her life. She didn't come home till after dark. When her parents headed upstairs to bed, she asked if she could stay up to watch TV. They looked at each other and said, okay. She was nodding off in the middle of some late, late movie when the door opened. And then he walked. What are you doing up so late? He said. I'm incubating an egg, she snarled. He shrugged and went upstairs. She closed her eyes and smiled. Next morning, a little kid from three blocks away came knocking at the front door. His yo-yo string had a knot as fat as a mushroom. As Amanda watched Maniac tackle the knot, an idea slithered into her brain. When the little kid left with his string good as new, she said, Jeffrey, if I knew some way that would make it okay for you to stay, would you? What do you mean, okay? He said, I mean that, that even if there's one or two people who aren't too wild about you now, and that's all there really are, that even they would like you. And everyone else who already likes you, they'll, they'll like you even more. Pure, out of curiosity, maniac replied. How's all that supposed to happen? Amanda told him about Cobble's Knot.